I'm John, and this is Fun with Film Order. Ten boxes of popcorn later. Oh, I feel sick after all that popcorn. Anyway, one of my subscribers, Nicholas Andro, has asked if I can do a tutorial on one of the new features of Film Order 13, Compound Clips. After listening back to this tutorial, I realised I said the word compound way too many times. So every time I say it, I'll put a number up on the screen. How many times do you think I said it? What is a compound clip? Well, it allows you to merge multiple clips into one single clip for easy editing. And what's the benefit of that? Well, it can simplify and speed up your editing. You can apply the same effects and edits to just one compound clip now, instead of having to do it over multiple clips. And you can save and re-edit them, and save them as custom compound clips to be used later on. So hopefully that will make more sense as we go into film order and see what compound clips are all about. Right, to create a compound clip, we first need multiple clips. So I'm gonna to go to stock media and just drag down some of the clips I have saved. Let's drag that one down. I'll just keep the project settings, that's okay. I'll use that one. Let's see, that one. I'll drag down six clips, doesn't matter what they are. Oh, I've done that one. That one, and lastly, the girl from the last clip who was chasing the cows. <laughs> okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six clips. Now we can just highlight all of them, right click, and choose create compound clip. That'll give us one single clip, but I'm going to create two compound clips. So I'm just going to highlight three of them, right click, and do create compound clip. Now I'm just going to leave it as the default name, but you can rename it to whatever you want. Click OK, and I'll choose the second two, and I'll create a compound clip with them as well. And it defaults to number two, that'll do. You'll now notice when you create compound clips, it puts it in your media library, and also a new little drop down appears on the timeline. So there's a main timeline, which gives you your two compound clips joined. So when I say joined, sorry, your two compound clips showing as a single clip, so you've got that one compound clip there, which incorporates three different videos, as you can see there. And our second compound clip, incorporating three different clips as well. Now, if you wanted to go back and edit these, very simply, go to Timeline, or Main Timeline, and choose Compound Clip 1. So you've now got your three individual clips there to edit again. Again, you can do the same. I've started with the word again, again, <laughs> again, again. <laughs> Here we go. Right, you can do the same with compound clip two as well. You can re-edit them in there. So now if you wanted to add maybe another clip in the middle, let me just um, show you what I mean first of all. Let's go back to the main timeline. On the second one, we have our three video clips, one, two, and three. We can go back in and edit that compound clip and do whatever we want within here. So I just want to add another clip in there. Let me just shrink that down. I'll go to stock media, choose something else, that flower maybe. I'll put that in the middle and I'll make that complete. Now, you don't have to save anything or press save at anything. It'll automatically save it for you as your compound clip. So let's go back to the main timeline. You'll now notice that we now have four video clips inside this one compound clip. Now we can do multiple edits with these and instead of having to do an edit individually on each clip as we would have to if we had them as individual clips, say we wanted an effect on all three of these clips, we'd have to do it individually. So for example, if we wanted an effect on the first one, let's just choose silent film put that on there and say we change the effect or the opacity effect down a little bit now to do the same on the second clip we'd have to go back into effects again we'd have to drag it down we could we then have to go in and change the opacity again to 75 percent etc etc and all the three clips let me just 
undo what I did there. Instead, we just go to our main timeline and we can choose that same effect, drag it onto that compound clip, change the opacity down to whatever we want. And that's now done that across the three clips. So it really is going to save you time. Oh, I'm on the wrong clip there. Across those three clips there, you can see the silent film is 75% opacity on all three clips. So that's a real time saver. You can also put effects on top individually still. So, for example, let's choose no idea. Let's have a look at that one. You can still drag them on top and just put them on certain parts of your clip. That doesn't have to be on the actual clip or embedded within the clip. You can still do that individually as well. And you'll notice if I go into the compound clip, that's nowhere to be seen on that video because you're doing it on the main timeline. So you can edit them individually here or you can go to your main timeline, edit them as a single clip and still add effects and whatever you want on there. Okay. Also what you can do, if you go to your compound clip, we can also add keyframes here as well. So let's go to our keyframes, add the keyframe at the beginning, move in slightly, add another keyframe, and I'll expand that up a little bit. Move in a bit more, another keyframe, and lastly, another keyframe. Now there's two ways of doing keyframes. You can either just click on the keyframe, or if you move something while you're using keyframes, You'll notice it'll automatically create a keyframe for you. I'll reset that back to 100%. So now within the compound clip, the single clip, you've got your keyframes. If you go back to the timeline, it still puts it in there as well. So you can do keyframing on the individual clips and also on just the one single clip as well. It just makes it a lot easier. If you want to do effects or anything like that over multiple clips, make a compound clip and then do the effect on that one clip. It just makes it a lot easier. That's the basis of compound clips. Also what you can do with a compound clip, now that you've created a compound clip, make sure you are on the main timeline because that's your compound clip. Don't forget that's your multiple clips shown as one clip. We can right click and do save as compound clip custom. And what that does is it puts a new compound clip under your custom section under compound clip media. What I suggest doing on there because that is the same name as your original compound clip. So I would always rename your custom ones. Right click, rename. And I'll just call it custom one. Okay, and what can we do with custom clips? I'll show you. Let me delete everything we have in our project folder at the moment. Delete all that, and you'll notice now we've got no media and we've lost a little drop down because there's no compound clips. We can now use our custom compound clip and drag it onto the timeline. You'll notice that the new little drop down box appears again with our main timeline, which is the compound clip one clip or we can go to our custom one compound clip which shows our three individual clips that we can re-edit and do whatever we want so where would a custom compound clip be useful well for me personally at the end of my videos i always have nine video clips next to each other shown snippets of little ones i've done in the past and that's my outro what i would have liked to have been able to do was at any time go back in re-edit them by using this custom compound feature and I could just swap out those videos as and when I wanted to very easily what I have to do now is go in edit that video chop it all up and oh it, it, it'd be an, it'd be a lot easier being able to use a compound clip so I think compound clips are the great feature of film order 13 I'm sure I'll be using them sometime in the future if you're using them or if you're having to play around and you found something out that I haven't said here please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the notification bell because it really does help my channel and I really do appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching. Now go have some fun. Did anybody guess that I'd mentioned the word compound 40 times? <laughs> let me know what your guess was in the comments below.